A warm welcome to Opoku Science Classroom. In this first episode, we're going to find out what is science. What is science? Science. Science can simply be defined as a systematic study of the behavior and nature of the natural and physical world through observation and experiment. It's a systematic study of the nature and behavior of the natural and physical world through observation and experiment. That is science for you. Now, let us explain a little bit or let us explain further. When we say something is systematic, it means it follows a logical and sequential order. It is not done haphazardly. You start from one, two, three, in that kind of what? Organized order. It is not done anyhow. So that is what we mean by what? Systematic. So it means that science is a systematic study of the nature and behavior of the natural and physical world through observation and experiment. Let us explain further. What do we mean by natural world? And what do we also mean by physical world? Well, before I explain that, I want you to cast your mind around. Look around you. What are some of the things that you see around you? Definitely you are going to say you see, if you are in your room, you will see a set of furniture. The ceiling and other things around you. Good. But can you go beyond the windows of your room? And then cast your mind out to see what other things can you also see? Well, definitely you will see some people roads, vehicles, and so on and so forth. What about the outskirts of the town? Yes, you see trees, the forest, the mountains, rivers, animals, the sky, and so on and so forth. All these things that surround you or all these things that surround us that we can hear, we can see, we can smell, touch, and so on and so forth, refer to as the physical environment or the physical world. Physical world. Good. Some of whom made mention of what? Something like bridges, that you see bridges around you. Some said they see bridges and then roads. Good. Others also made mention of what? Trees and land. Now let me ask you, what is the major difference between these two groups of things, bridges, roads, and then trees and land, as far as who made them is concerned. Who made bridges? Definitely are going to tell me man. So bridges and roads are what? Man made. Good. What about trees? Yeah, they are produced by what? Nature. Good. So, so you see, this is what? Man-made things. And these are what? 
Things made by what nature? These are things made by nature. All the things made by nature, such as trees, land, the atmosphere, the air, the river bodies, and so on and so forth, constitute what we call the natural world. The natural world. However, the man made together with the natural world is known as what the physical world so in effect we are saying that the physical world is the universal set and the natural world is a subset of what the physical world the only difference is that the natural world constitute only the things made by nature whereas the physical world includes things made by nature as well as what man made once also now we know science is a systematic study of the natural and physical world but the question is can a person study all the things that we see around us like the trees the water bodies the sea the weather all of them together at the same time no no so in order to make things easier aspects of science have been divided into what we call subjects science subjects and so we have subjects that make up what science subjects that make up science and they are okay let me ask you what are the science subjects that you know definitely the boys are going to say biology so these are the science subjects yes the scientific subjects or the science subjects include biology chemistry physics geology astronomy meteorology engineering agriculture pharmacy electronics ict and a number of them but we will consider only this there are so many of them but let's consider only these ones yeah these are the areas of science or these are the areas that scientists study for example if you talk of biology it talks of what the study of living things and the evolution of life chemistry talks about what Chemistry talks about matter and its properties, and so on and so forth. For detailed explanation of these areas of science, just check the content of this channel, and you get a very well explained or detailed explanation of each of these subjects. Good. However, these subjects can be grouped into two. What are they? They can be grouped into what we call natural science and applied science. What do we mean by natural science and what do we mean by applied science? Well, natural science deals with the physical world. So a subject like, say, biology is a typical example of what? Natural science. Chemistry is also a typical example of what? Natural science. However, there are some 
aspects of science or subjects of science that one requires knowledge from one of the natural sciences before he can hold, offer that kind of what science subject. For instance, if anyone wants to be involved in pharmacy, that person must have knowledge in what chemistry. In other words, one ought to apply the knowledge that he has acquired from chemistry in order to what? do pharmacy. So pharmacy is a typical example of what applied science. This tells you that when we say applied science, as the name implied, it involves the practical application of scientific knowledge that one gains from one of these sciences. So, with this explanation, you can help me to group the various subjects into natural and applied science, isn't it? Yeah, so definitely we'll have a subject like, say, biology is here, natural science. So these are typical examples of what natural science, and that is we have biology, chemistry, physics, meteorology, astronomy, and so on and so forth. On the other hand, applied science include the following. Yeah, so in effect, applied science also includes engineering, agriculture, pharmacy, ICT, electronics, and so on and so forth. To summarize, what are we saying? When we say science, it is a systematic study of the nature and behavior of the natural and physical world through observation and experiment. Yes, observation, that means you will have to observe, look, take a critical look at things, and then you carry out some experiments. You do some practical things to come out with the concrete facts and figures, and then you take a decision that is what we call what? Observation and experiment. Scientific subjects include biology, chemistry, physics, geology, ICT, pharmacy, agriculture, electronics, and so on and so forth. These are areas of science. However, we can group these areas of science into what? Natural science, and applied science. The natural sciences include biology, chemistry, physics, meteorology, astronomy, and so on and so forth. The natural sciences deal with what? The physical world. Whereas the applied sciences simply refers to the practical application of what? Scientific knowledge. Good. However, at the beginning, I asked you, can someone study all of these subjects at one time? And I said, no. However, at the GSS level, you study biology, chemistry, physics, all of them or you are just getting the basic knowledge of these what? Subjects, all together in a holistic manner. And that is why what you are doing is known as what?
is known as integrated science. It's integrated science in the sense that there's a bit of biology, chemistry, physics, um, electronics, and so on and so forth, all integrated, put together, that you are studying in a holistic manner at the same time. And that is why it is known as what? Integrated science. So when we say integrated science, it simply means learning the various aspects of science all together in a holistic manner. Yeah, so when we talk of integrated science, we say it's a subject that involves teaching and learning several fields of science in a holistic world manner. Good. So this is where we we'll draw the curtains down. And if you really enjoy this and you want to be informed, whenever I make new videos, kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you.